Alright, so now our eye isn't working anymore. It's kind of important. So we're, you know, as usual, we're gonna just hack into our body and fix it up. I was honestly kind of hoping that they would show, like, that your eye is not working in this one by, like, maybe making things kind of fade out on one side and maybe come back in. But maybe that'd be a little too disruptive. I thought it'd be a creative touch, but it's, uh, it's whatever. I'm not Zachtronics. I'm not the developer of the game. I just sit here and try and figure out the puzzles they throw at me because they're much smarter than I am. Uh, so here's what we have to do. We have nine nerves here and they'll have a, a set of values in them. And then we have another nerve up here that goes deeper into our eye. This one is going to be the one that we need to be sending our signal from. So we need to read from these nine nerves and do some math. So if the, if the value in the nerve is higher than minus 55, then we have to count up the number that are greater than minus 55, multiply it by five, and then subtract 75. So we we're going to have two different execution agents that are handling it. B is going to be the one who's going to be reading the vat, like receiving the values from the nerves and then putting them into the cortex nerve here. I'm assuming that's cortex. I'm not, I'm, I didn't look this one up. Execution agent A is in charge of basically dropping off an agent at each of the nine nerves that is going to be reporting the values. So we'll watch execution agent A first because that's the more interesting one to start off with. A is going to, and you see I did some reps in here to, to get our efficiency up because baby, we want that efficiency. Uh, a is going to jump in here and A is going to uh, create something that I called an Easter, not Easter the holiday, but is moving east in the map. I'm assuming down right is that I guess it's that way on my camera. I'm assuming down into the right is east, which is moving in the minus three direction, basically. So what Execution Agent A0 is going to do is he's going to drop off a reporter. The reporter is going to basically wait at the nerve and report the, the information it's seeing in there. Execution Agent A0, who is the Easter, is going to link minus three and then jump and is going to create another reporter here. And then it's going to jump over to minus three and then create another reporter. And it's then going to try and keep going east. But when it reaches the end, it's gone. When all of... Meanwhile, sorry. Meanwhile, Execution Agent A, the original, was uh, dropped off an Easter in the middle row and then became the Easter for the top row. And the end result of just this, this first half of code here is that I now have one agent in each of my nerves here. Now, what are these agents doing? We need all nine of these values to be sent over to XB. So what each one of them will do is they will look at their nerf, see if it's greater than minus 55. So we'll do a, a test. Is it greater than minus 55? And that value will be saved in T. So if it is greater, it'll be T will be one. And if it is less than or equal to, it will be zero. We'll multiply that result by five and send that over the M register. And result of that is if it's greater than minus 55, we're sending five over the register. If it is not, we're sending zero over the register. B is going to sum up all nine of those values that it gets. The end result is that we've got the first part of this done. You've got count the number, the first two parts. You got the count the number of values read that are greater than minus 55 and multiply it by five. We're just adding five for each one. It's the same thing mathematically. So B is tracking this, these values and adds up all nine of them. It just received the ninth value. It has 10 in X, which means only two of them were greater than minus 55. And we're just going to subtract 75 from that value. And we're going to send that over around into the nerve for a value of minus 65. And I'm covering it, but that says it's correct. As soon as you write to that nerve, all of the values here in the, the nine nerves here will now be updated to their new values. So in order to prevent these things from overlapping with each other, I've got them all in a no-op. I gave them all, told them to wait, chill out for nine steps. And that's exactly the number of steps it needs. So that if it was the first one to report its value, once it's finished waiting, XB is in its position where it is ready to receive the new val start receiving the new values. Uh, and after each round, we got to copy zero to X to reset. We don't want to bleed over and then we jump back over to aggregate. So now B is ready to receive its values. So once again, it'll receive a five from the first one, zero, five, zero, five, zero, zero, five, zero. 
XP has just gotten all of the values again. It is a value of 20 this time. That means four of them were good. We're gonna multiply that by, well, it's already multiplied by five. We're gonna subtract 75 from that. We write uh, minus 55 into the cortex. That also says it's correct. Let me fast forward a little bit so you can start seeing these correct values coming in and going in on the thing below me because I'm, I'm covering it. There's nowhere easy for me to place my camera here. So here, we can start seeing some values. We got minus 60, minus 55, minus 65. Let's see, B is gonna aggregate here. It got 20. So we're gonna subtract 75 from there. Minus 55, that's correct. So we'll just let that keep going. It just keeps going in this set of of nine. This is another case where doing a T register would harm my performance. And this is something that I've only just recently been realizing is that the T the T loop trick, while fantastic and definitely has its use cases, will harm your performance if used excessively. So I'm I'm still learning too. So I'll let this fast forward. We'll get our eye up and running, and you'll see we got a nice uh, a nice cycle performance there, which is great to see. Very exciting. Mm-hmm.